Okay, so now hopefully this will be our final prediction. Both fire signs are to occur on Tishri 20 to 22, which is either side of Tishri 21, which is the 12th and last 2NC Pentecost of the, well, from Heshvan 21, 2020, which is the regular 2NC Pentecost. Uh, because on 2021, Heshvan 21, we get the, the next round of 2NC Pentecosts. So the Tishri 20 is the seventh Sabbath of, of, of the 12th 2NC Pentecost, or of 12th 2NC weeks. And the and Tishri 22 is the Super Pentecost after the Pentecost. That will be the Super Pentecost actually after the late 11th, which is the same as the 12th 2 and C Pentecost. So it's the last Pentecost date in Tishri, is Tishri 21. So the fire sign must be that day, or the day after, or the day before. Both fire signs, because they must occur this month, because on Tishri 29 we have... Well, on Tishri 29 we have the enforcement of the Mark of the Beast, which is beautiful because it's ten times precisely, ten months after Chislev 29-2020, which is three and a half months precisely before 20, 21 Nisan 14, which is the end of the Dragon's 42-month lease of Revelation 13, which began his authority for 20 months, for, 30, for 42 months, which authority began and which lease began at First Fruits 2017 Tishri 20. And that's correct because all Passovers of Adam from a secular standpoint, all Passovers of rulership of Adam, all appointments of Caesar to Adam, which appointments are in full numbers of years, all those appointments occur in Nissan. So Michael was appointed in Nissan, on Nissan 17, after Adam sinned on Nissan 14, 3993 for 6,000 years. He then sub-appointed Satan three years later, 3990 Nissan 14, and his lease expired 2011 Nissan 14, whereas Michael's lease expired 2008 Nissan 14. But then Jesus is appointed over the kingdom as Caesar to Adam on Nissan 21, after the Nissan 14 end of the 42 months license of the dragon, and then Jehovah is appointed over the kingdom on 2022, Nissan 22, which is uh, one in the first fruits after Nissan 14, the end of Zoa. So all these things, all these Caesar appointments to Adam all seem to be the first one in the first fruits or mosaic first fruits following after the Nissan 14 Passover. So that being the case, it makes us pretty confident that we've got the end of Satan's lease right because it's got to end on Nissan 14 in order that Jesus can be appointed, you know, on, on first fruits after that, which is Nissan 21 this year. And if that's the case, then we know that the ten kings who've not yet received a kingdom stand for ten times and not having a kingdom, but they, they do have authority one hour with the beast, one hour of the day of the authority of the beast, which day is the 42 month lease, so one hour of a 42 month day is a twelfth of 42, which is three and a half months, and that goes from Chislev 29 to Nisan 14. But then these poor old kings who haven't yet received a kingdom, they don't receive it for 10 months, so that takes you from Chislev 29 to Tishri 29. But Tishri 29 is the date we had from other calculations for the mark of the beast being enforced. Specifically, the calculation is that the beast is caught on um, ER 28, 2022, which is 12 times of the sentence count of Revelation 19, 20, before it's burnt on Sivan 10, and it has to be burnt on Sivan 10, 2022, because that is the entrance day into the late Babylonian Passover, which is the Babylonian Passover execution, and the OMC, late Babylonian OMC Passover, and the beast is... Babylonian because it wants false worship, it's not Christian. It wants worship and it doesn't follow Jesus. And Babylon, Babylon just means all false churches. And then we know from Daniel 3 that the width of the image that they have to bow down to is six cubits, which is the period from Tishri 23 to Tishri 29 when it's enforced. And the height was 60 cubits, which is the amount of time you test saints with height representing heavenly saints. Benjamin actually. He's raptured on Chislev 23 having been tested for six months from 
Tishri 23. So what I'm saying is we have this beautiful coincidence now of the end of the ten months of the ten kings not yet having received a kingdom and the enforcement of the beast whereby they do receive a kingdom. Once the beast, mark of the beast is enforced on Tishri 29 which is incidentally October 8-9. So October 8-9 is when it will become illegal to buy or sell anything I think in a shop, maybe online, I don't know, but certainly in a shop. I mean, it already is in France, pretty much, but it will be throughout the West, at least. Not necessarily in America, they, the evil seems to escape. But in the land of the Ten Kings, ten major countries, it, you cannot buy a soul without the mark of the beast on October 8-9. And you can register for that mark on October two, three, six days before, which is Tishri 23. We strongly advise not to register for that mark because Revelation says don't register for it. If you have the mark, then you cannot be a saint and if you don't give up the mark, you, won't, you will not be saved. So if you take it, you have to repent in order to be saved. And now all of that is occurring in Tishri and I suppose we're making a secular argument here that, well, and, the, and then the World War has to break out, World War Three, which is the ride of the second horseman in the apocalypse. That breaks out, actually it doesn't. The ride of the second horseman begins on, when does it begin? We just realised that um, the, the second fire sign will indeed be Tishri 20 to 22, but the third fire sign will not also be Tishri 20 to 22, but will be Heshvan, four to six. Tishri 20 to 22 is September 29 to October 2 and Heshvan four to six is October 13 to 16 because it's basically 14 days later. And the reason we can now make that change is World War Three actually starts with the third fire sign and I had World War Three starting one day earlier than that which meant you couldn't really have a fire sign after the war had started. So I didn't think that was possible, but actually I was wrong because there's a sentence count. If you look at the symmetry of the One Kings 18 contest, it begins 2005 ER 14 when the Watchtower fell as the true church and therefore its Jehovah's Witnesses all became prophets of Baal and that began the prophets of Baal. And then the noon is is double light in Hebrew and the double light period is when both this church and Laodicea were appointed to feed the 1NCs and that period runs from 2009 Tammuz 10 to 2017 L 10 when they Laodicea fell as a true church and if you then match the morning part from 2005 year 14 to 2009 Tammuz 10 if you take that period and add it after the 2017 L 10 to make morning equal to the afternoon, you end up on Heshvan 5-6, which is the end of the contest. And, well, it's a contest about fire signs, so really there should be a fire sign on Heshvan 5-6, and now we've got one. So those are the two fire signs, Tishri 20-22, which is September 29th, October 2, and then Heshvan 4-6, which is October 13-16. to It's very interesting, the timing of those signs. The the first fire sign is actually the cloud accepting Solomon's temple, which is inaugurated in the ark. We expect now to go up into the ark on the 15th of Tishri. Today is the 13th. So we go up on the 15th, which is in two days' time, which is the Sabbath. So we go up on, on the Sabbath and start inaugurating Solomon's temple. We finish inaugurating it on the 21st, and then the cloud goes into it to accept it. That cloud is the fire sign. I mean, it's not so much the fire sign because God doesn't do it, Satan does the fire sign through his agents down here. But it's the prediction for the fire sign being confirmed is how the temple is accepted. Although I've got to say, being raptured into an ark is a somewhat more impressive acceptance of our temple, I would, I would think. And then the next fire sign, the third fire sign, occurs beginning of World War III, which is coincident being the fourth solo of Pentecost. It's, it's coincident because the first solo of Pentecost is Ab 5 and then Elul 5, Tishri 5, Heshvan 5. 
It's coincident with the, the World War III and with Jesus coming into his church. We baptise him into the church in the greater baptism of Jesus by John. We baptise the Holy Spirit into the church in order that it can take it over. And that happens on Ishmael 5. So Satan kind of says his inauguration present is one fire sign to the Solomon's Temple and then his present to Jesus for taking over, for coming down here and starting to run a, a true church himself is World War III. So it's just incredible how, well that's the spiritual reality behind all of the politics that's going on down here at the moment. This awful segregation happening in America and France. You know, it matters not whether it's Jew, Gentile, whether it's black, white, or whatever the contrived pretext may be. Segregation of people is wrong. That was the lesson of the 20th century in particular Nazi Germany. So everybody will have a chance. If you ever have asked yourself the question, if I was a concentration camp guard where one of my relatives was killed, would I have followed the orders or would I have resigned? Well, you will now get the chance to answer that question because there's going to be a world war which is the necessary cover for setting up some more camps and the scripture in Revelation says those meant for captivity will go into captivity so there is going to be a captivity of God's people and if you don't have the mark you go into the camp basically I would imagine I mean I don't I don't know it may not be that simple but then everyone has the chance to help their brother and that's the sheep and the goats test of Matthew 25, whether you're prepared to help your brother and look after him when the government says don't go near him, he's unclean, he's, he, he's an insect, he's a vermin, he's a rat, or whether you collaborate with a segregationist regime and identify yourself as a goat, someone without humanity. So keep hold of your humanity and you will be fine. And I hope to see you in the ark. If I get into it, <laughs> thanks. <laughs>